All right, everyone, here's my weekly mock, which is Battle for the Gravestone Fort. Now, the entire, at least, plot of this mock focuses around, essentially, the takeover of this fort. As you can see back here, you have our heroes battling out a bunch of orcs for control of the fortress as reinforcements are running through. But let's start with this section of the mock. So here we have the graveyard section of the mock with the tombstones and all of the interesting sections such as the, all the plant life to all the rock work. I incorporated this well intentionally from the blacksmith's shop. The idea is set, so just a little hint right there. The greenery is definitely my favorite thing. Even though this fort does have a lot of, I would say, happy colors, such as, you know, tan and neon green, to a degree, it is still kind of like, it has this aura of dread and the unknown, so to speak. That's why I enjoy all about it. So the fort itself, I kind of based off of the Alamo, actually. So walls that are not incredibly high, but still high enough, and it's kind of situated on a bunch of rock. As you go all the way around, you can see this is a very old fort that was essentially left to rot, maybe from enemies or just time, so to speak, an old civilization. But it has a lot of interesting angles. As I step up, you can see that I kind of differed from the typical square base platform for a castle, I tried to give it all sorts of angles to make it look nice, and I would say I achieved that. So you have two reinforcements running in to help our main scout team fend off against the orcs in a little like plaza slash arena right here. So here are the orcs, primarily Lord of the Rings figures. We have the main knight, an archer, and a giant gruff guy with axes so you could say like he's kind of like the wilderness man so to speak so throughout the mock i used a bunch of slope bricks along with cheese studs to just give a lot of final detail to the mock and as you can see i used a bunch of stickers the stickers are from the harry potter hogwarts line and that is primarily because, you know, you just put the stickers on and the set typically comes with two or three of them. I thought they, they add a lot of character to the mock overall, and I'm pretty pleased with the turnout. Overall, this is a very unique mock in every sense, as it has everything I want. It has a little bit of a plot, it has nice details, and it differs from the conventional lego set so to speak but this was kind of not the most difficult mock to make it was just kind of time consuming in a lot of ways trying to get these angles to line up all throughout because when you're building and differing from the typical play scale of lego which is you know squares or rectangles when you have something like this which has all sorts of parts that are sticking out that can be a little bit difficult to build at times. But overall, I am pleased. So one of the things you can do is that you can remove this with the use of these snot tiles to kind of reveal the old plaza of stuff left behind from the past civilization. Overall, I think it's awesome. And so this, I would say, is a good starting point because what I want to do is I want to be producing a mock a week. This is the mock for the week. And I would say I am very pleased with the turnout. Considering this is an eight foot long table, basically a two foot mock like this is fantastic. So I am very pleased. Just let me know what you all think down in the comment section. I am going to be releasing a more in-depth video review later on this week just for the sake of it because this turned out a lot bigger and better than I thought. But overall, thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to like, share, 
and subscribe. And as always, keep on building.